Hi guys, welcome to this video where I'm about to show you my entire process of a new venture that I'm going into, which is just a new product that I'm offering on my shop. And I thought it might be interesting to show you guys exactly what goes on behind the scenes and how I create these things. So the new product that I'm doing is a personalized letter art. And uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I did do a post about this and I just thought I would follow it up with a little video so you can see and learn a little bit more about it in case the shop product isn't very like detailed. Um, so basically a couple of weeks ago, I did a H for my friend's baby and I did it in a theme of marine life. She has that kind of thing going on in her de decor in her room or his room. Um, so she wanted to keep that in the commission itself. So I basically did a whale and some starfish and coral all in the shape of the H and it turned out really nicely and I loved doing it and I thought it might be something that a lot of people would love for their babies or for gifts for friends or for themselves. Um, had a couple of inquiries already which has been really nice. Um, so I'm glad that people are showing interest in this new idea for me. And I have just completed one for my daughter who turned five recently and I thought it would be a nice birthday gift for her. So I just thought I would run through exactly what it's like for me to create one of these pieces. And then if you do like the piece as you're, um, as you're watching and you've got a Q or a H, I have those letters now. Um, otherwise you can request uh, your own letter and order it online through my shop. I'll make sure to leave the link down to the shop product in my description box of this video. But yeah, if you want to see how they are created from scratch, I will show you the process now of how I'm creating the letter Q for my daughter. share with you a little bit about the process that I go into for these. So the first thing that you guys have to tell me is what alphabet letter you're after and then what theme you'd like and then if you have a color preference for the piece itself. Now mine was um, quite straightforward because I knew that she wanted fairies as her element that she wants in her room. She wants fairies everywhere. Um, so that was really good because I definitely fancied drawing fairies as well. Um, but I knew that my mum was getting her this particular quilt cover for her birthday and it's covered in peaches and they're like watercolour peaches, um, which suits me as well. So I was really going to try and tie the two together. So I was thinking of creating a fairy from a peach, um, like maybe using the peach shape as her body. Um, but they kind of just looked a little bit funny. <laughs> they just didn't, didn't quite work. So I thought, no, we'll stick to a normal, a genuine, um, a general fairy design, but maybe she's sitting on the peaches. So she, you know, lives and surround, surrounds herself by peaches. So she's the peach fairy. Um, so that's where the concept came from. And then from there, it's, it's quite simple. I just researched the shapes that I like, um, what flowers could maybe tie in, how I can get it to all work together. And so you'll see now, as I'm drawing, I'm tying in um, peaches, the flowers that are on the tree of the peach. Um, and then I'm just using those particular colors, the green, the orange, the yellow, and the sort of a pinky color, which actually work really nice together, I think. 
and then I supply this to you through a digital means because one bad thing about living in WA in little old Perth is that we are so 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 far down that everywhere else is very far away which means very costly for shipping so to alleviate that pressure on um, on either the client or myself I've decided to make these more digitally focused but that's not to say that if you wanted this in um, actual hard copy the original that is still available it just means that you have to account for that extra shipping part um, so yes so back to it so once you've chosen those things I create an artwork um, but, uh, to suit that and then digitize it and then send it off to you so I just thought I would show you how this piece comes together So I hope you enjoyed watching that process of how we created this letter right here. I've just framed it and I'm now going to hang it onto the wall. And I think I'll, I probably mentioned in the video, but the whole idea of this came from Her Loving Fairies and um, the new Duna quilt cover that my mum has got her for her birthday, which is covered in peaches. So I think um, by tying the two elements together it's something really cute and I think she'll enjoy it for you know at least a couple, couple of years and then I'll probably have to make a new one um, but yeah they're really fun it's a really fun project it's something that you could probably do yourself as well if you're into art feel free to give it a go um, I'd love to see what you create and otherwise if you don't want to make it yourself I am available so just check out the shop if you're wanting to purchase one of these for yourself thank you for watching I hope you found it interesting and I will see you in the next video bye bye Hello guys. Hello guys. <coughs> nice. Hi guys. Welcome to the video. I've got Theo here with me. He wanted to be on camera. I don't know what I'm doing here. <sighs>